I'm Alice Faring, and I'm from New York City. I've been writing about natural wine since about 2000. Before that, I didn't realize I was quite a traditionalist when it came to wine. I was asked to write the Food and Wine Magazine official wine guide, and I started getting rapidly very depressed by the state of the wine world at the time. Everything tasted the same, and quickly found out that the wines that I was gravitating to were from organic viticulture, native yeast fermentation, and no additives. Basically, what wine was meant to do, make itself as naturally as possible. Probably the most important thing is to have a good level of acidity. Where there's a lot of wind, so you don't have as many pests to deal with in the vineyard. It also is very good for disease control. There is a reason that grapes historically have been grown where nothing else can grow. It's because the grapevine itself is extremely adaptable. France, hands down, it's where the resurrection of natural winemaking happened biggest concentration of natural wine growers and makers. Italy is already strong. Then there is the country of Georgia. It's grown rapidly. It's really important that you are behind the wines, that you personally love the wine. Just to get a natural wine to get it, that's not gonna make much sense. If it's a little bit of a crazy little wine, a little bit strange, just present it to the customer as this is totally off the beaten track. China is certainly a market that everybody is looking at right now. I was asked to go to Shanghai last year to speak about natural wine. I think, unfortunately, because there's not enough to go around that they're going to say, do we really want all of these additives in our wine or do we want more of an immediate bottle? I think when you approach natural wine, you have to forget everything you have been taught in sommelier school. Do you have an emotional reaction to the wine? Does it take you somewhere? Does it make you want to go wherever that's from? Does it uh, evolve in the glass? Does it have a drinkability? Does it feel good in your body? These are kind of the things that I think are really essential about wine and they make so much sense when you taste a natural wine that is living. Wine to me is uh, about culture, it's about humanity, it is about connection, it is basically the place where nature, science, and aesthetic and philosophy come together in a the bottle. There's a reason that there's nothing else like it.